who leave their hectic jobs and lives in order not to vacation, but to volunteer their time and experience. Their service to the Palestinian community are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars, which they give for free. It is crucial that this program, as well as a commitment to fundraising on the level of our federation, that our federation deserves, continue in the future. The executive director position will help ensure this continuity. We are creating a committee for developing a five-year strategic plan for the Federation. We will be contacting different members of our communities to get their participation and input. We hope to tap into their experiences and professionalism as means to enhance our progress in the future. Our website has been improving and now includes much more materials. We are now posting the Hadir Ramada magazine on our website. I am very proud of the success of the Ramallah Memories, the project that you can find on your YouTube, where the memories of our elders are being taped in an attempt, in an attempt to preserve our heritage and tell our stories. We hope that there will soon will be represented from every family included. I'd like to thank uh, Dr. Maher Ajdoni and uh, Maher Ghannam, sorry Maher, <laughs> and uh, David Ghannam for their vision and hard work in making this new program happen. I felt it was essential to back this project because it is clear that if we do not tell our stories and our history, others will tell them for us. I think we all feel blessed to have immigrated to the United States, where we have become a part of the mosaic of the immigrants from all over the world, and are proud to call themselves Americans. We have benefited from being here in tangible ways. Arab Americans have a higher education level and income than the average American. Our Ramallah community is no exception. Most of, our, of us are quite successful in many fields, such as education, business, arts, and many other professional fields. But it is important for us to give back to the less fortunate, both in this country and in Palestine. I would like to express my deep appreciation for the many members of our communities for their help and dedication to ensuring the success of our Federation, including those who open their homes to my wife and I as we travel to the various communities throughout the year. Thank to the Executive Board for all their valued help and dedication throughout. I would like to thank the Convention Chairman, Jacob Cash, and his committees, the Club President, Isa Hart, and his board members, and the entire Cleveland community for putting on this wonderful convention. I would like to congratulate our incoming President, Johnny Ruka, and his wife, Joy. Johnny, I wish you the best of luck, and you know you can count on me. I would like to congratulate Terry Morris, Ahmad Morris, on her position as our next deputy president. Congratulations. I'd like to thank my son Joseph and his wife Natalie, my daughter. Betty, the one that gave the speech before uh, Dr. Hannah Ashrawi. I also must acknowledge my brothers and their families for giving me a year off from work this year. Thank you, guys. <laughs> and lastly, since you leave, always leave the best for last, I would like to thank my lovely wife, Nada, who has been there for me all year. If it wasn't for you, 
I honestly could have done it. Thank you, honey. In closing, I would like to thank you for honoring me as a president with this great organization. You can count on my continued involvement and support. Hope to see all of you in Washington, D.C. in 2011. God bless all of you and have a safe trip home. Thank you. Thank you, President, for all your hard work.